Hi there. I had an issue this week which I thought I would share with you. I thought it'd be an easy thing to move a virtual machine from VNet 1 to VNet 2 between two different virtual networks in Microsoft Azure. Turned out to not be the case. So if I just show you my demo environment here. So if you want to see this, um, the, if you click the link in the, in the blog article, which is shown on the screen now, um, you can download the code and deploy this infrastructure. So we'll do that in a second. So we just got a VM at the bottom there in the yellow, which is connected to a network interface card, which is connected to VNet1 uh, in a subnet called VM subnet. This has an IP of 10.111.0.0. And what I wanted to do is move this VM into this subnet here. So let's jump into the code. Uh, I've got some VS code here. So you can download this code and, and follow along if you like. So we'll deploy the code using this deploy script here. So if I go to control and apostrophe and type in deploy, information action continue because we'll have some messages which um, in the PowerShell here. So let's deploy that infrastructure out to Azure. I'll pause the video now and come back when that's done. We have an admin password for the VM. Okay, so we can see that that has now deployed, just took a couple of minutes to do. So if we go to the Azure portal and click the refresh button in my infrastructure here, you can see we have U, um, RG UK South test is the infrastructure we've just deployed. Let's just minimize the essentials tab here so we can see. So we've got the virtual machine, we've got our network interface and we have two VNets, VNet one and VNet two. And if we look at the IP address of the virtual machine, we should see that it is 10.111.0.4 as we expect. So how can we move this? What we have to do is just close the deploy and go to the move VM PowerShell script. Let's do this step by step. I'm going to press F8 just to run the highlighted code. So we do error action preference. So I'm going to read in the parameters file for the bicep template and just make sure I'm in the correct subscription, which I am. And let's get the VM we just deployed with the bicep into a object called dollar VM. You can see that there. Let's get the operating system disk. This will also work for data disks. So if you want to extend this, you can for that. Let's make sure we got the OS disk we have. So now what we're going to do is store the virtual machine name in a variable. And we're now going to remove the VM. This will delete it from Azure, but it will retain the disks. It will also delete the network card attached to VNet1. So we'll create a new network card and do that when this has been deleted. OK, so that looks like it has been removed. Let's just check in the Azure portal. Let's refresh. So we can see that the network interface card and the VM have now been deleted. So if we go back to our script now, and so we're on line 35. So on line 38, we're going to get the public IP address because we want to attach that to the new NIC. Let's get the virtual network for VNet2. If we just show you what that value is, it's called VNet2. So press F8 on that line. And let's make sure we're attaching to the right subnet. There's only one subnet, that's called VM subnet. Let's just make sure that that populated. That all looks good. So our VM subnet. We're now going to create a network interface IP configuration, which will specify the private and public IPs. And we are going to create a new network interface. Now we're going to create a new um, virtual machine configuration because we need to create our VM. And we are now going to add the network interface card to that VM configuration that we just created. We're going to add the OS disk that we saved into a variable from earlier. So we're going to attach the original OS disk. Let's set the boot diagnostics to a managed storage account. For some reason that doesn't get created. And then we can create our VM. So hopefully what will happen now is while that's doing that, let's bring back the, the whiteboard. Um, so we've deleted our VM. We've also deleted the network interface card. 
and it's now not connected or doesn't exist. So it's now deploying a new VM. Um, let's draw it over here. And we're going to attach the existing OS disk to that VM. We're also going to deploy a new network card. So let's call this VM NIC. Let's call it NIC2. Let's make this a bit thicker. Draw a box around that. And we are going to attach the VM to NIC2. And then we're going to attach NIC2 to the subnet. And the public IP address will be attached to NIC2. So hopefully, once this is deployed, that will be the case. So let's just check. OK, so it looks like the VM has now been created. So let's go to the Azure portal and check. If we click Refresh, we should see the new VM and a new network interface card called NIC2. And that network interface card should have a IP address of 10.112.0.4 and it's still got the same public IP. So if you go back to the, the whiteboard, 10.112. So that all looks good. So I hope this helps. Uh, unfortunately, Microsoft haven't provided us a way to move a network interface card to a different VNet without downtime. So if you need to move your VM between networks, you need to show your downtime, which is a bit unfortunate. Well, I was hoping that we could just create a network interface card in a separate VNet, attach that to the VM while it's running, and then remove the or detach the network interface card from the old network. Hopefully that will come in the future. Who knows? But thanks for watching and I hope you found it useful.